Hello, we are Parsub, and today we will review how to use a free web scraper to scrape multiple pages of data. These include pages with two different kinds of navigation. For this, we will use Parsub, a powerful web scraper that can extract data from any website. You can download it for free through the link in the description or at parsub.com. If you've never used Parsub before, don't fret. It is actually quite easy to use while still being incredibly powerful. Today, we will review how to scrape multiple pages of data. But if you want to learn the basics of Parsub, check out our video on how to scrape data from any website into an Excel spreadsheet. Just click on the card that's on the screen right now. Now, let's get into it. A website's pagination, or lack thereof, can come in many different forms. Let's break down how to deal with any of these scenarios while scraping data. First, we have pages with a next page link or button. This is probably the most common scenario you will find when scraping multiple pages of data. Here's how to deal with it. In Parsub, click on the plus sign next to your page selection and choose the select command. Using the select command, click on the next page link which is usually at the bottom of the page you're scraping, and rename your selection to Next Page. Expand your Next Page selection by using the icon next to it and delete both extract commands under it. Using the plus sign next to your Next Page selection, choose the click command. A pop-up will appear asking you if this is a Next Page link. Click on Yes and enter the number of times you'd like to repeat the process of clicking on this button. For example, if you wanted to scrape five pages of data in total, you'd enter four repeats. Then you have pages without a next page link or button. In these cases, there might just be links to the specific page numbers, such as in the example on the screen. Here's how to navigate through these with Parsub. Click on the plus sign next to your page selection and click on the current page number. In this case, page one. Rename your selection to current page. Click on the plus sign next to your current page selection and add a relative select command. Using the relative select command, click on the current page number and then on the next page number an error will appear to show the connection you're creating. Rename this selection to next page. Now use the plus sign next to the next page selection and add a click command. A pop-up will appear asking you if this is a next page link. Click on yes and enter the number of times you'd like to repeat this process. Parsa will now load the next page of results. Scroll all the way down and check that the next page relative selection you've created is now selecting page three instead of page two. If it is selecting page two, Click on page 2 and then on page 3 to train Parsehub accordingly. You might also be interested in scraping multiple pages by searching through a list of keywords or loading a predetermined list of URLs. These are tasks that Parsehub can easily tackle as well. Check out the description for guides on how to complete these tasks. You now know how to scrape multiple pages worth of data from any website. However, we know that websites come in many different shapes and forms. The methods highlighted in this video might not work for your specific project. If that's the case, reach out to us via the live chat on our website or at hello at parsub.com and we'll be happy to assist you with your project. And as always, subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos on web scraping, data, and the internet.